So I'd like to bring together today two very disparate thoughts, one being from Tolstoy and the other being from my high school wrestling coach. These two may not seem to mesh together, but I hope I'm going to be able to make it happen. <clears throat> the first line of Tolstoy's Anna Karenina was, happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Now, I think I understand this line. I'm not going to pretend I grasp all of Tolstoy. I'm not going to pretend I made it through all of Tolstoy. But I think I grasp what she's talking about. All happy families have found that child-rearing, handling money, how arguments are decided, all, all of these various factors that can make us happy, they've worked them out. So they're all alike in the same way. But all unhappy families, well, they're, they're all unhappy in their own way. I think citizens and their governments get along the same way. Every happy citizen is happy in the same way. They, they have enough left over at the end of the month to feed themselves, to clothe themselves, to try and get an education. They have room thinking their children may have it better off. But all unhappy citizens are unhappy in their own way. Everyone who's upset at government is upset in their own way. And it seems to me, while I try to normally be positive, while I try and normally push people together with these commentaries, it seems to me there are some people who really have a reason to be pissed at the government. But I may have a little surprise on that one, because it's who might be upset. Let's go back now to my high school wrestling coach. I came to him once. I said, you know, I'm upset about this, I'm upset about this, and this isn't fair. And my, my high school wrestling coach, who was far from a genius philosopher, who wasn't exactly the guy you'd turn to for great insights or advice, but occasionally got one really light, looked at me, he looked me deep in my eye, and he said, Mark... You were born a white American male at the end of the 20th century. Shut the fuck up. And that's basically what it comes down to. I'm a white American male at the end of the 20th century. Now, I'm not saying whites are better than anyone else, and I'm not saying Americans are better than anyone else. I'm not saying the 20th century is inherently, in every way, better than every other century. But really, it gives me a lot less to complain about than most people. I have to think it would have been harder to be a black lesbian midget in 13th century France. I just have to assume this. And when I, when I look around at the news, when I look at my window, when I will look at my neighbors, when I see a Tea Party protest, what I see are white Americans in the first half of the 21st century who think they have it rough. I'm not sure I get it. This protest movement. I, I think this is a big one. White Americans at the beginning of the 21st century, who polls are now showing are more educated and wealthy than the rest of us, are pissed that they don't have it good enough. And this is a protest movement. White Americans at the beginning of the 21st century isn't a volunteer movement. It's not a charity movement. It's not a support movement. It's not a make things better movement. It's not a spread democracy movement. It's a damn it, we don't have enough movement. And I'm sorry, I try not to curse during these but I slipped in the fuck from my wrestling coach and I damn it there because this is really the mood we're facing. Shouldn't we all be the happy family who's alike? What else is it these people want? They're safer from disease than almost any generation or, or locale in the history of the world. They have more per capita wealth than almost anyone anywhere. Per capita now, yes, there are some Saudi sheiks who have more money and Donald Trump could buy and sell three of them at a time. But how much do they really need? I'm looking at the Tea Party protest and not seeing a lot of hungry people. I'm seeing people who have health care and people who have the right to travel to these protests, much less the right to protest. And I'm wondering, why isn't this happy family just alike?